Lately I've been wondering, how much energy do we use when we create packaging? And then how much energy do we use when we recycle? What is the energy gain in melting down and refashioning materials as opposed to the energy lost to the mechanical processes of recycling? Also, does recycling give us a reason not to be responsible about our consumption habits by letting companies decide how goods are manufactured, transported, and then ultimately sold to us? There's not just one factor when it comes to recycling, there's a bevy, from the dollar cost to the environmental tolls to our lifestyle choices. Let's just take bottled water, for example. In the U.S., in a single year, we go through approximately 30 billion bottles, which requires over 17 million barrels of crude oil for the manufacturing. So without taking into account neither the expense of operating the bottling plants nor the inevitable transportation costs, at a low of $50 a barrel of oil, we're talking $850 million for raw materials, or 1.7 billion bucks when a barrel of oil jumps back up to $100. That's enough oil to run one and a half million vehicles in the U.S. for one year. What? We discard almost 940,000 tons of plastic bottles a year, but only 31% of that is recycled. So for the 291,000 tons of plastic bottles we do recycle, we are preventing 495,000 tons of carbon emissions from entering the atmosphere. Reproducing packaging from recycling saves about 75% more energy as compared to creating new packaging from virgin materials. Still, that's sort of negating the fact that we are sending over 1 million tons of CO2 into the air per year just from plastic bottles in America. But not so fast, there are more components to take into account. The total energy requirements connected with the increase of recycling could possibly be larger than manufacturing with virgin raw materials. One aspect to calculate is the energy used in shipping these materials long distances to end markets. That energy could cancel any energy savings earned. But that argument invalidates the severe environmental and political repercussions of turning petroleum into these handy containers. Currently, the U.S. imports 58% of their oil. That's a lot of dependency on other countries' generosity. Or not. When a plastic bottle enters landfill, it can take hundreds of years to decay. Maybe. As it's possible that tightly packed landfill conditions aren't optimal for the breakdown of plastics, making the process even slower and less efficient, and potentially polluting our soil and water, which at the rate it's currently depleting, we shouldn't really gamble that away. So the point I'm really trying to make about recycling is not whether its manufacturing costs are higher than dumping it all in a landfill, or that shipping this potential resource thousands of miles away to be sold on a foreign market is another huge waste of oil, or even whether we can build more efficient recycling machines and technology that use less energy, it's two things. Is the fact that we need to be reusing more of these containers we buy for a second, third, or fourth life that could significantly cut down on foreign oil imports. And perhaps recycling should be taken into account at the design stage with materials able to return safely to the earth or endlessly recycled. Should the responsibility lie on the shoulders of the manufacturers or the consumers. Isn't waste ultimately a design flaw? At this point, our options seem to be either choosing to make new arrangements in our lifestyles, drastically rethinking and changing our behaviors, or demanding that our packaging be more intelligently engineered. And although the benefits of recycling over disposal are somewhat dubious, to better serve ourselves and our environment, we should keep in mind the saying, reduce and reuse, before recycling even becomes an option.